Let's just get the There we go. All right. So we're going to give it a little bit, uh, starting a little bit earlier for this 6 o'clock uh, Fusion Impact class, give you guys some time to get on, um, things on those lines. Uh, as you guys are waiting, a couple things to note is I would highly recommend grab some water. Yes. That's good foreshadowing, right? It's always good foreshadowing. <laughs> it's like food, but I guess in general, having water Yeah, water is always good. Water is always good. But when and you say it. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Uh, so if you guys are uh, here watching, uh, leave us a comment uh, in the chat so we know that you guys are here and all that, and we'd like to know who's watching us to say hi and all that, because otherwise it's just us staring at a screen with a number, and it makes us a little sad. Yeah. So, but uh, no, for those of you that are uh, sitting and uh, watching, uh, if you guys have any kind of TV shows or movies, something that you're doing to kind of fill the time, would love to hear you guys' recommendations about that. Um, I know for myself, I'm catching up on, uh, let's see, I caught up on 911, uh, Resident, and uh, New Amsterdam. Stuff to catch up on Lego uh, Masters. You guys haven't seen that. It's awesome. Uh, but I'm also looking for movies, too. Uh, what have you been watching, Mr. Daly? Uh, I've been watching Star Wars Clone Wars. I've been watching a lot of... Uh... DC TV like Flash and Supergirl and all that fun stuff. Uh, again, same thing as Mr. Global. I I know movies I need to watch. I just kind of not watch them. All right. Awesome. What's up, uh, Tellus family? And how you doing, Mr. Fiani? And good to see you, Miss Newbie. Hello. Uh, yes. Yeah. Triangle's hiding my face. Here. I know. You got to watch out for that triangle. It, it's always it's a little like, weird. Like, it's, it's, yeah, you come towards me. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, but yeah, anything you guys are watching um, or doing, whether you're reading a book, um, being creative or something, along those lines, love to hear what you guys are doing uh, in this time where it seems like we have a lot more free time on our hands right now. Um, of course, unless you guys are stuck with working at home, uh, in which case, uh, I don't know if I should be sorry about that or happy about that because. I know my mom, she has to work from home, and a lot of her coworkers are happy because they all have to work in downtown Dayton. They don't have to make the drive there. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Positive. Yeah, positive. You know, so like, love to hear what you guys are doing. Uh, just kind of fill in the time that you guys now have. Uh, we'll get, again, we're going to give it about one more minute, maybe two more minutes. Again, if you don't have some water, highly recommend grabbing some water. Uh, you can tell I'm like, I'm, I'm already halfway through this. Uh, That's why I have my big jug. I know, I need to get a big jug. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you don't have water, highly recommend you get water. Um, if you have something, you know, maybe a little towel or something you would dry off as well. Now, talk about foreshadowing, getting a little bit of towel for you, you know? Uh, all, right. all sorts. Right, all sorts of fun stuff planned for you guys uh, today. So, but yeah, so, yeah. Again, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments uh, if you don't have, already have stuff. Also, uh, we'll remind you again later, but again, make sure you um, haven't, uh, which you guys have, but if you're still yeah. watching and you're not commented yet, I don't know, uh, make sure you put your name in the comments. That way we know to give you guys class credit. Uh, and again, we'll remind you after the end of the class if you don't do it in between then. Yeah. What's up, Drew? What is up? Uh, oh, and we have so Ethan. Ethan. What's up, Ethan? All right. So, uh, couple quick things again before we get started if you don't have water yet if you just joined us make sure you guys have some water uh, something maybe to wipe off also uh, make sure you guys have some space because uh, some of the stuff we're doing requires just a little bit of space um, but I don't want you to, like your head on the coffee table or anything the couch chair dog uh, cats okay because who cares about cats <laughs> oh I can't say that can I all the angry comments are coming in right now right sorry I'm a dog person so <laughs> yeah um, now the cats are okay, they're okay. Uh, though one, one cat I know keeps like, to like come after me, I don't understand. Uh, I've been nothing but nice to it, so. Uh, let's see here. 
uh, uh, also just kind of keep in mind that again, it might be a little awkward, particularly if you're doing it uh, by yourself. So if you have family members, highly encourage that you uh, will encourage your family members to jump in and join you and do this with you. Because uh, again, I know it's a little can be a little awkward just to be sitting at a screen, staring at a screen, and doing what the screen says. Um, so uh, there's that. Uh, but yeah. So with that, we are going to go ahead and get started. And we are going to start like we do in a regular martial arts class. So just because we're not here um, in the facility, we are still going to bow in. So again, make sure you guys are going to do this, do this with, uh, do this with me. Um, and again, if you have someone who's doing it with you for the first time, it's your first time doing this, you don't have to follow along. You just listen along. This. So here we go, guys. Ready? And let's run. Ten a bow. All right, ready. Academy tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength. Commitment, knowledge, respect, serve. Kinei bow. And Jumbi, arms in a circle, feet as wide as our shoulders. So just like we do in the regular class, we're going to start off with 10 awesome jumping jacks. Ready, set, and go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. All right, from there, feet as wide as your shoulders, neck rotations one way. And then the other way. And then arm goes forward. Good. And backwards. And crisscross the body. The arm, shoulders all nice and warmed up and loosened up. And then up and down. Uh, all right, from there, if you twice rise your shoulders, stretch you over your body, side to side. Good, twist side to side. Good. Legs straight, reach down low, side to side. Hands on the floor, hips that side. Good, and relax. All right, so part of our warm up today, we're gonna to work on some cross jacks. So some cross jacks, a little bit of fun coordination. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna start my feet apart, then I'm gonna jump, and then I'm gonna cross, and then I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna uncross. So again, my feet are hopping and crossing at the same time. That's a little bit too hard, or you have something on where it's just like, yeah, that's a bad idea. You can just do normal jumping jacks, feet together, feet out, all right? Along with that, my arms are gonna start off out to my sides. They're gonna cross in front, then come right back out. Cross in front and back out. So when I do it all together, we cross, uncross, cross, uncross, all right? We're gonna get, go for about 15 seconds. We are ready, set, and go. And everybody, as you go, make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath, anything along those lines. Good, and time. All right. Part two of our warm up, we're going to have a little fun with this. We're going to get a little sweaty. Um, we're going to start off strong. So as we do this, again, if there's something that we're doing, I'm going to give you guys a couple different levels and just do your best with it, all right? So from here, we're going to do what's called an in-out hop, all right? So an in-out hop, we're going to be here on our hands, feet back behind us. You're going to hop your feet together to your hands, then hop them back out. So hop together, hop back out. If you can't do that, you can just have your hands on the ground, one knee to legs out, and just bring your knees in like this for what's called a mountain climber. And again, that's something that you're still working on getting to. Just hold your, uh, you just hold there, all right? Again, if you have a little bit of issues, if you have a wall or something where you can't really put a whole lot of weight on your uh, upper body, just go up to that wall and you can use the wall to put that, uh, to be on there so you don't have to be on the ground, all right? So from here, we're gonna go 30 seconds 
Let me grab my timer so that I can make sure I keep you guys in track. On time here. Here you go, guys. Ready, set, and go for it. Good. That's 10 seconds down. You guys got 20 seconds left. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds, keep going. Good and tight. Good, all right, we're gonna catch our breath for a little bit. Now, part two, all right, it's really part three now. Part three are these uh, side to side hops. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna hop our feet side to side, all right? And if you have an issue or something where it's not possible to have your hands on the ground, one thing you can also do for this, standing up, hop side to side here, standing up, you're gonna get the same uh, level of, uh, same level of difficulty, but it's a little bit less impact on your arms. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. You all ready? Set, so again, going here, Hopping side to side, or standing up, hopping side to side. Ready, set, and go. Good. Keep it up, you're halfway there, halfway there. Good. Keep going, keep going. Last five seconds. Good and time. Whew. Not too deep. Then you catch your breath. From here, working on this thing called a burpee. I don't know if you want to catch, get a little drink of water. Get a little drink of water. All right. From here, burpees. Level one, going uh, full burpee. You're gonna squat down, hands on the ground, feet jump out back behind, jump together, stand up, hands up. Again, if you need to switch it up, make it a little bit easier, you can just squat down and step backwards, step back up. This time we are not gonna go for time though. We're gonna go for total reps. So we're gonna get a total of 10. Of these, all right. So, again, one more time, I come down here, right? jump back together, stand up, hands up is one. I check in two, so I'm starting on three. You guys can start on one, unless you didn't work it. Ready, set, and go. Okay, that's five for me. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So then keep going. Go at your own pace. We are going to get have a breather in between each set before we go on to the next one. All right. So for here, the next one, it's called a plyo push-up. All right, so from here, what that means, what that looks like is I'm gonna start down push-up position, hands on the ground, I'm gonna do a push-up. After I push all the way up, I'm gonna hop my knees up in front, kind of standing up, and it's kind of like a push-up going into a squat, all right? So from here, something you guys can do, again, that seems a little too hard. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. You can just do regular straight push-ups where you're on your hands and feet. You can go down your knees, or if you have to, you can go up to a wall to do these push-ups, all right? So you know what a plyo push-up looks like. I'll do it sideways for you guys. So I'm going here, I do my push-up, I come up, pop my feet up here, and I go right back down here and right back up. 
we only have to do a total of five. Um, I'm, I'm being very nice. Well, no, it's, it's at three five, so we're doing five. Um, I just did two, so I'm gonna start on three. Three, you guys are starting from one. Again, unless you did it with me, ready? And go for it. Too too bad. Uh, so again, I just want to take a little bit of a break, get a little bit of water, you know, take a little sip, and be getting ready for the next one. This next one we're doing is side to side lunges. All right, so I get a total of ten of these. All right, so a side to side lunge, starting here. I'm stepping off to the side, lunge one side, back together, then the other side's gonna step out and lunge. All right. That's one. All right. So I go from one side to the other side, it is one, getting a total of 10. All right. So again, I just did one. So if you did it with me, cool, we're starting together. If you're watching, you have to start one, I'm starting at two. Ready? And go. Three for me. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Finish up. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Awesome job, guys. We have one more to go. One more to go. And these are called hook squat shuffles. I know a really fancy name. All that means is I'm starting here. I take one leg, it steps behind the other leg, and I bend my knees like I'm squatting, and I step back together. All right. So again, starting to be nice and wider shoulders. I step behind one leg, bend both my knees like a squat, stepping back together. If you're watching at something you know you can't do, just do regular squats, all right? You don't have to go too deep on them. From here, we have to get a total of eight, all right? So again, looks like this. We do here, squat, other side, squat is one. I've just done two, so that's my starting number. All right, here we go, ready? And go. Good. I'm on six. There's seven and eight. Awesome job, Ray. Give, go ahead, give yourself a high five, pat on the back. Good, awesome job. Get a quick drink of water. Catch your breath a little bit. Whew. Again, if you have, if you're watching, you haven't made, left us a comment yet. Please leave us a comment saying that you're in class. So we know that you're here and you get that class credit. All right, anyone else sneak in since the last one? Nope. All right. So yeah, catching our break, or not break, catching our breath. From here, we get to go through it one more time. But don't worry, don't worry. Some of it has been decreased. For instance, the first two things we did were 30 seconds last time. We're knocking 10 seconds off of this time. So we're only going to go 20 seconds, all right? So again, first one was the in-out hops, all right? So hands on the ground, hopping into your, or hopping into your legs, hopping back out, and you're just going to keep on going. Again, 20 seconds. Reminder, if that's something you can't do, you can either just hold push-up position, lifting one knee up towards your arms, or if that's still something you're not okay with, you do a little hop standing up here, pushing forward, hopping forward and backwards. Or, I don't give you a lot of options, find a wall, put a little bit of, weight of your weight on the wall, and lift your knees up to your arms. All right, any questions on that? No? 
that I didn't think so. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Get set. Whew. And go for it. Keep it up. We're almost halfway there. Now we are halfway there. Well, over halfway. Good. Last five seconds. Keep going. Good. And time. Good. Not too bad, right? Uh, so we're gonna catch our breath a little bit from here. Number two was those side to side hops. So you hands on the ground, hopping your feet side to side. If you need to do the standing up, again, you can do it standing up here, feet together, and you're just going a little side to sides. And that's something you can't do. I don't have another option for you. Alright, so here we go. So and we'll, we'll start here. Five seconds, catch your breath. Four, three, two, one, and go. So remember to breathe. Ten seconds left. Keep going. Almost there. Two, one, time. Awesome job. All right, so yeah, real fast. I'm going to get a little drink. Since right there, grab a little drink. I'm grabbing a little drink. Good, all right. Next up is our burpees. All right, we're going to have to get eight of these. All right, so again, squatting down, jumping our feet back behind us, jumping the board again, standing up is one, you can get eight. If you just did it with me, we're starting at number two. If you didn't do it with me, you're starting at one. And go. There's three for me. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. All right. Awesome job, catch your breath. Next up again are these plyo push-ups. So you can either just do regular push-ups if you need to, or if you do the full thing, you do the full thing. Alright? So you're gonna get a total of five. Starting in uh, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, oh yeah, push up and go! Four and five. Whew. All right. Catch your breath. Get a little drink of water. I'm going to need new water soon. Good. All right. Next up is our side to side lunges. So you're going here, stepping off to the side, together, and back off to the side. Together counts as one. You gotta get a total of eight. Ready, set, and go. Good, I want five. There's six. Seven and eight. Good, awesome job. Whew. Gonna catch right there. We're gonna have one more to do. One more to do. I promise. All right, that's our hook squat shuffles. All right, so again, starting here, seven behind. Squat with both legs, with both knees squat. Then the other foot steps behind and squat. And that counts as one. We gotta get six of these. Here we go, ready, set, and go. Three, four, one. 
five. And six. Awesome job. So again, bring on that gear itself. You're good. Another high five. Pat on the back. Woo. Catch your breath. Take a swig of water. Good. And then have a seat on your feet. Seated ankle stretch. Let me move this down a little bit. Here we go. All right. So this right here. Sit on the tops of our feet, stretching out the tops of our feet, close our shins, close our quads, getting back a little bit, go close your quads, go hold it. Uh, I hope that you guys are as sweaty as I am, or as sweaty as I feel. I feel like I'm probably going to pretty sweaty. From here, roll your foot back, two toes stretch, just stay on the ball of your feet, knees on the ground. Push your hips forward, and it stretches the balls of your feet out for things like round kicks and side kicks and front kicks. Get your toes out of the way. Uh, all right, from here, hands on the floor, hips down, shoulders up, cobra stretch. Uh, hold it. Uh, then drop yourself down, push the middle of your back up and your cat back. We're trying to get the middle back point straight up in the air. Good. And then drive yourself down. Arms up, legs up, heads up, everything off the ground, but then now you're up back. Boom. And then drive yourself down. Roll yourself around. Half seat. From here, doing these cross legged back rollers so you can legs bent, holding on your legs, rolling all the way back to the chin, rolling all the way forward. Again, it's one. Go ahead and get five bent leg back rollers. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. From there. Same idea, legs straight this time. Going all the way back, going all the way forward again. It is one, go ahead and get five, keeping your legs straight and your feet together. Ready and go. Stretching your legs out a little more, reaching your arms forward, leaning your shorts forward, bring your head down, hold it as low as you can. Alright, there, leaving one leg straight, pulling one leg around behind you, reaching down low on that straight leg. And you're reaching your arms forward, leaning forward, bring that head down. And switch. Other leg straight, other leg bent. Reach down low so you can reach forward, lean forward. Good. All right, from there, taking one leg, crossing it. Over top of your leg, twisting around towards that bent knee. Final twist. And switch. Alright, then lay back on your back. Hold one knee in, so you like every few seconds. Try to get that bendy all with your shoulder. Good. Let's 
sit up. Today you got wide into a V. And lock your fingers from behind your head. And let's go ahead and get 10 side to side stretches. Remember as we do our side to side stretch, keep our backs up straight, taking one elbow to one side, other elbow to the other side. Go ahead and get 10. Go. Make that a little bit wider. Reach down low, down the middle, and side to side. Get a nice little stretch. So from here, when we hop up, I want you to hop up, get a total of 10 more jumping jacks, then follow along with this video as he takes you guys through some awesome form stuff. Ready? Go ahead and hop up. 10 jumping jacks, go. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> awesome. So let's take a minute. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Whew. All right. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on some forms, or specifically on just making sure that when we prepare our moves that we're preparing uh, correctly and as sharp as we can. So, starting off in section one of the form, all right, so my feet are gonna to be together. Again, you can chin be, you can have your hands right side. Does not matter for this part. So again, when I do a low block or a chop, all right, I'm gonna prepare it the same exact way. I just, you know, my arm goes different ways when I actually do the move. So, from here, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna do my left, all right? So my left arm, I'm gonna put it on top of my shoulder, my palm is facing my neck here. From here, my other arm is gonna go into my armpit, and again, my palm is gonna be facing out. The reason for that is when I do my move, and I'm twisting at the very end, that just makes the block a little bit sharper, and it allows me to block if someone's coming at me without actually you know, hitting it and hurting my arm. I can deflect it. So we're going to here, hugging nice and strong. My elbows are up high. All right, don't want to point down low. I'm here, following along with me. We're going to do five low blocks on our left side, and then we'll switch and do five on our right side. Go for it, guys. Boom. Again, my other hand is staying next to my rib cage or my belt as I go. Four and five. Good. And again, doing the other side. And don't rush these guys. Boom. Make the block fast. But when you're preparing it, don't rush through it. Awesome. So now we do the same exact thing, just with our chops. So again, I want to make sure I'm twisting at the very end with my chop and not just swinging my arm through. So again, that's why palm in. This time my hand is open, palm against my neck, other hand in my armpit. So again, towards the side, I'm chopping. Once my arm is straight, my uh, hand rotates over here. So again, Five on this side, and then five on the other side. So, if you want to add some loud yells with it as well, you are more than welcome to. Yeah. Off the other side now, again, five on each. Three, four, and five. Awesome. So that was uh, all, all of our uh, low blocks, all of our chops within our form. 
they're going to be or prepared the exact same way. So again, when we do it in section two, and we do our low blocks, again, I'm preparing that same way, boom, and then I lock that arm out right above my knee for those of you have section two. All right, we do most of you guys. So, moving on, um, let's see, I'm gonna double check here. Good, good, good. Awesome. So now moving on into some spances, all right? So from here, Again, I have my feet as wide as my shoulders starting off, working on a front stance. A lot of this form is a lot of front stances. So again, I'm here, I'm gonna take one foot. Doesn't matter which one, you guys, we're gonna do both anyway. I'm gonna take that leg, two steps forward. I'll just scoot back a little bit. Two steps forward, and then again, I'm here, bending that knee while trying to keep this back leg straight. Good, and my toes, I know you guys can't see it as easily, but again, my toes, I want it to be pointing forward at all times. All right, same thing with my belt, same thing with my chest, shoulders, everything's pointing forward. All right, so I'm here, good. And then we're gonna do the other side. So I'm here, that leg takes two steps forward. One, two, again, this back leg didn't move. All right, and from there, just back to you guys, and bending that knee, again, everything trying to point forward as I go here. A lot of times when I see people do their form, I'm gonna turn sideways, it's again, they're here, they start off, boom, they're doing their form, let's say, the end of section one for our chops, and then they take a step forward, then this back foot comes off the ground, all right? So we just wanna make sure, as we practice the form, and practice our stances, that we work on keeping this foot attached to the ground. You might need to make your stance wider, you might need to make your stance longer, shorter, whatever it is, depending on how long your legs are. That is what we need to do. All right, so stances, uh, preparations. So all I want you guys to do, uh, we're not gonna work on it right now, but at the end of this class, uh, just kind of take some time, practice your form, uh, and really work on those specific details. So again, really making sure each preparation is super strong. Again, really deep stances here. Again, then we also have our fighting stance, just making sure I'm sideways back on this back leg. All right, now we're gonna work on some kicks, okay? So starting off, working on, uh, if you are a black belt, all right, we're gonna work on some twist kicks, side kicks, we're gonna be working on uh, for everybody else. So here, hands up strong for a twist kick. All right, I'm taking this leg, I'm bringing it up like I'm about to do a round kick, but instead I'm bringing that foot over and then once it's over, I straighten my leg out. So again, I'm here, knee up, bring it over, and then straighten it out. It's a little bit hard to do slow, but again, just do the best that you can, going nice and smooth with it, okay? So for a side kick, again, I'm lifting up uh, that same leg, my knee towards my chest, point the bottom of my foot towards me or whatever target you wanna aim at, push forward and make sure you pull that leg back. So, black belts are gonna do three twist kicks on one side, three on the other side. Everyone else, you're gonna be doing your side kicks. All right, three on one side, three on the other side. And go for it. Good. Again, as you do these, trying to keep your hands up at the same time, don't let those hands drop. Good. One more. Awesome, good. From there, now we're gonna be working on our, our section two kicks. So front kick, axe kick, or front kick, axe kick. So black belts, again, back leg's gonna pick up. Front kick, you're gonna keep, oh, I'm gonna get my balance. Here, front kick, keep that leg up. Whipping it around, and then axe kick. I'm here, trying to keep my toes pointed up. Heel hitting the ground for brown and red belts. You guys are bringing it up, same thing. Just the axe kick though, keeping that leg straight the entire time. Pro belts and below, just picking up back leg, front kick, trying to land again in that awesome front stance without this back foot coming off the ground. So again, do three on one side, three on the other side. And go for it guys.
side. Again, for those of you doing the front axe kick, again, do your best to stay balanced the entire way through. I know it can be tricky sometimes. Few more seconds, and right, we'll move on to our last moves today, our kicks at least. So round kicks. All right, everybody, unless you're a black belt, you're going to be doing double round kicks. Okay. Again, trying to aim at least for your belt height, if not higher. If you want an extra challenge, trying to go two different targets. So, all right, I can do double round kick again. Belt level one, two or I can try and go higher, lower, lower, higher. So I can go belt height and then higher up and then same thing for the triple round kick. So again, doing, uh, let's go for 15 seconds on one side and I'll tell you when to switch over to the other side. And go for it guys. Good. All right, going to switch sides, guys. Good. Same thing, either double or triple round kicks. Go for it. Good. All right, keep it up. Try and keep the balance the best that you can. Good, and time. All right, so from there, uh, are you doing your thing or I'm doing this? Okay. All right, so I'm going to hand over to Mr. Koble to finish you guys out, uh, do some more fun stuff with you guys. All right, so from here, just uh, one quick thing, uh, and this is something that Mr. Rashad talked about in, uh, yesterday, so if you have a chance to go back and watch his talk, uh, I highly recommend you guys go watch it because what he said was really important. Uh, and the importance of just in, in this time, if you're on social media, making sure that you're posting uh, positively or positively um, posting, uh, you want to make sure that you know, we are, you know, voices of hope and positivity because it's really easy uh, to go negative with stuff. Um, I know uh, I'll, I'll get on my Facebook and I'll look at some of the stuff being done. A lot of it's people just trying to be really funny and have or be funny with it, uh, with like homeschool stuff or stuff that you guys are doing or that they're doing at home. Uh, sometimes I, there, there are some negative stuff that I see with it. Um, for instance, the whole toilet paper thing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make sure that as, you know, <coughs> as adults and stuff like that, that not as adults, as, you know, martial arts, as leaders, uh, the community that we're uh, being that voice of hope and positivity. Now, real fast before we end out, I do want to work on some of our self-defense that uh, you guys be, uh, need to know for your belt testing. And uh, more importantly, kind of it's the latter half of it, because there's a little bit uh, to the last part of our self-defense drill. So real fast, I want to run through the first um, part of your self-defense drill. So self-defense drill, we're going to be in our self-defense stance, hands up and open body turn just slightly. All right? Here, I'm going to take my front arm, front arm, front palm strike, Back on the palm strike. So just on your own, palm strike, palm strike. We're gonna go about 10 seconds and go. Three, two, one, and time. All right, second part of this is elbow strike. So on your own, going front arm, elbow strike, back on elbow strike. 10 seconds, ready, and go. Three, two, one, time. All right. Part three is downward elbow strikes. So again, for 10 seconds, we are down, downward elbow strikes. Ready? And go. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Part four. Are these knee strikes? So pick your knee up, knee strike one, knee strike two. So just on your own, 10 seconds. And go for it. Three, 
four, three, two, one, and time. All right. So yeah, it's kind of putting it all together. So we'll go about 20 seconds. On your own, go palm strike, palm strike, elbow strike, elbow strike, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike. I know it's a lot. So again, palm, palm, elbow, elbow, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike. All right, here you go on your own, 20 seconds. And go. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. For the last part, last part is a backwards break fall. All right. So as you guys do this, as you guys practice these, again, make sure you're not near anything that you can actually hit your head on. All right. You might need to see a little bit closer to the screen, but. From the same position, you're going to stand up, you're going to squat down as low as you can, roll backwards, rounding your back out, and when the middle of your back touches the ground, high five in the ground. All right? Along with this is we're also working on how to get up uh, safely. All right? So I'll show you guys this sideways and straight on so you guys can kind of see what it's going to look like. All right? So from here, again, so sideways here, I'm going to roll or squat down low, roll back, <coughs> high five in the ground. I'll make sure I keep my head off the ground and my feet low to the ground. If you notice, my feet did come up a little bit, but I don't want them way up high over my head. All right, I want to keep them as low as I can. All right, then to get up, I'm going to come up on to one of my sides, posting that arm on the ground, the other opposite leg on the ground, matching on here. So I push my hips up into the air, I take the other leg, Wrapping it around behind my hand here. I'm going to stand up and back here. All right. So you know, one more time. I'm here. I do my break ball. Roll over to my side. Post me up. You know, one foot on the ground. Opposite arm on the ground. All right. I push my hips up in the air. Take that leg. Pull it all the way around behind that hand. I'm going to stand up and screw back. All right. So again. On your own, we're going to do that about uh, 15 seconds. Ready? And go for it. Good. 15 seconds. Ready? So again, you do that break fall, turn to the side, one hand on the ground, opposite leg on the ground, push up, step your leg back. Good. You guys got about 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Good. Nine or five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Of course, I plan to take a drink right there. All right, so real fast before we move on, go ahead, grab, run a little drink of water, grab a quick drink of water, and then come on back and have a seat. Don't worry, we only have one or two more things we gotta go through, and don't worry, or two more things we're gonna do, and don't worry. You only have to do one each. So do them one each, all right? So, all right. Here we go. So for here, this next one, you are going to need a little bit of space on the ground. I'm going to grab my class planner so I remember what it is I have to do. All right. So, from over here, just going to do a quick ab workout, followed by a quick stretch, and then we are good to go. All right, guys. So from here, this is called a crunch kick, uh, kick up. So what it looks like is I'm going to go here. I'm going to lie back on my ground. A lot of this is going to be lower body related, so I use my lower abs to help me out with this. I'm going to get my knees in my shoulders. I'm going to kick them up, pull them back, and out. And I'm on the ground. So I'm going here, up, and out. All right. So again, if you can't do the full kick up, or kick up, you can do this. That's totally okay. All right. We got to get a total of 12 of these. All right. So 12 of them. Ready? And go. There's one for me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 
Well. Good. All right. Can I take another breath? All right. So from here, just doing regular kick up or kick ups now. So again, being here on the ground, if you need to, put your hands down here. All right. From here, have legs just going straight. Try to kick up as high as you can. There's one. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. All right. You have to get a total of 15. All right. So on your own, 15. Ready, set, and go. On. Fourteen, fifteen. Good. Then in between sets, you need a rollover cobra stretch. You're welcome to do that. Our breath, and then we go on to our second last one. No more. There's only one more of these. Well, after this one, we have two more left. Two more left. All right. So from here, next one we have to do total of 15. All right, and we're going to do leg raises. All right. So and then we go leg raise, and then you can have arms out, arms to guard, or the easier version, arms or hands. Underneath your lower back. So you're just going to lift your legs up and back down. Total of 15 times. Try not to just land or just slap your uh, feet on the ground. So don't lift up and just drop. Make sure you lower your feet down. Ready? 15. Go! Next round, I promise to do our last one. They're gonna do one stretch and bow out. All right, so from here, these are called around the world. You're gonna start back like this, you're gonna lift your legs up, and you're gonna draw a big circle one way with your feet, big circle the other way with your feet. That's one. Only have to get three of them. All right, so going all the way out of one way, all the way around the other way is one, get three. Right, set, and go. Two and three. Awesome job. All right, from here, roll over, hips down, shoulders up, cobra stretch, build or stretch the core out. Oh. Good. All right. Awesome job, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hop up. 
face us. Can A. I don't agree. Again, if you haven't left a comment that you did a class, make sure you leave that comment so we give you that class credit. Um, but otherwise, awesome job. From here, put one hand towards the screen. On the count of three, we rock it. Ready? One, two, three. We rocked it. Have a good night, guys.